everyone. Thanks for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name is Chris. We talk all about koi ponds, water gardens, aquatic plants, pond filtration, fish, all kinds of stuff. Um, waterfalls, streams, troubleshooting, product reviews, all kinds of fun stuff here. Please take some time, take a look around here on the channel, look down at the playlists. I have all different categories uh, broken up to different topics to help you find uh, things and navigate your way around a little bit. So whether you are brand new to the hobby or you know you've been doing this for a while but you're you know you really love it and you have some questions or you're wondering about something or just want to learn something maybe a little bit different hopefully I can help you out a little bit so I also have a website called pondscapesandmore.com where you can go on and I have all kinds of different products and pictures I've been in business building koi ponds for over 25 years now I got a ton of pictures and videos of a lot of work and different ponds and things I've done so hopefully maybe it can you know inspire you and I would also uh, greatly <laughs> um, ask you um, I set up a page on my website called ponds around the world and I'm really hoping that you guys can share with us um, pictures or just a picture or two of your pond from you know wherever you may be um, that I can post on my website for everybody to see and I think it would just be a lot of fun to see what ponds look like from all over the world um, so you know please share that with me um, send uh, email me some pictures here at the address listed here below and I would love to post your stuff I seem to have a lot of people viewing this page on my website but I don't have any pictures so please send me some stuff um, I really appreciate that so today's video um, we are gonna talk about something fun um, we're just gonna talk about five reasons um, why owning a pond is a, a fun enjoyable thing alright simple video but hopefully you know you all can relate to this in one way or another so I hope you uh, enjoy it so yeah five different reasons fun enjoyable reasons to own a pond um, number one let's start off with just the beauty of it okay whether you're doing a koi pond or a water garden um, whether you have plants or just fish either way um, the ponds are a huge attraction to people right um, the neighbors come over your friends come over to your house and everybody wants to see the pond everybody wants to see the fish and it's a really beautiful um, enjoyable area um, not only you know for your guests but for you too um, just a nice spot to sit relax unwind forget about the world for a while right and what's going on and whatever and just just enjoy your pond um, so definitely uh, definitely um, just the overall beauty of the environment of the area around the pond is is something that's really really nice um, <laughs> so from there let's talk about number two landscaping all right um, many of my clients who you know I build ponds for love to be outdoors love to be in the yard love to be in the garden and owning a pond is just another extension of their landscape right um, you know wh whether you're your hands-on gardener whether you know you're the, the one in digging in the dirt or not um, many of us do appreciate the landscape around our homes right and if you're into all the different plants and you plant all the flowers and perennials and all that fun stuff you know having a pond is just one more step um, to advance your landscaping and be creative in your yard and it offers an opportunity to plant things and and you know grow things that you typically will not right <laughs> if you don't have a pond 
Um, and I'm not even just talking about, you know, the plants outside of the pond. I'm talking about the plants inside the pond as well, right? If you have a water garden, you have lilies and all different, you know, aquatic plants, uh, bog plants, marginal plants, all that stuff. A lot of that is, you know, different and specifically unique to a pond. And many of those things are not going to grow out, you know, in the middle of your lawn. So, or in your perennial bed. Some can, some will, <laughs> but a lot of pond plants, you know, definitely belong in the pond. So it opens up a whole nother realm of landscaping and creativity, um, not only in the pond, but around the pond as well. So definitely a fun thing that many people do enjoy. Um, next thing, number three, the fish, <laughs> all right? Fish are a huge attraction. Um, some of my clients, you know, it's funny, they, they end up, you know, wanting the pond and they say, oh, you know, I'll just throw a few fish in there. And then all of a sudden those fish become like, you know, they're pets and they love their fish and they care about their fish. And, you know, um, it, it, the fish are the life, right? Um, koi are like living art. They're beautiful in the pond. Um, and you know, goldfish, shabunkins, fantails, uh, all those kind of fish too, they're really pretty as well. So, you know, your fish are your pride and joy in the pond. They're, they're, <laughs> they're the life that's living there that you're going to just watch swimming around and feeding them is a lot of fun. That's another thing where people ask me, well, if I get fish, do I have to feed them? Well, yeah, that's the fun part, right? So many people do enjoy feeding the fish. You know, they get up in the morning before they go to work, they're out at their ponds, they're feeding the fish. Um, when they come home from work, they go back out and feed the fish, <laughs> right? You have a little barbecue, a little party at your house, you have company guests coming over, you know, they, they want to go out and what are you doing? You're feeding the fish and they're all coming up and eating and everyone's ooh, ah, right? Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a really enjoyable thing. So being able to go out and, you know, just watch your fish can be really relaxing. Just watch them swim around. Just, you know, chill out. Take a deep breath. Just relax and watch what's going on. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, so feeding them, right, is a lot of fun. And watching them grow. I have so many clients who, you know, they just really are, are, are amazed at how fast sometimes their fish can grow, their koi can grow. And they enjoy the fact of, you know, I bought that fish when he was this big and now he's like this, you know. So it's, it's a fun part of owning a pond, definitely. Um, another thing is, number four, <laughs> the sound, right? The sound that the waterfalls and the streams create. People love the sound of running water. Um, it is so relaxing. Uh, I did a pond for a gentleman uh, years ago who worked in New York City. He was, you know, gone all day. He leaves early in a five o'clock in the morning for a train to, into New York City. He gets home in the evening and he told me, all I want to do is come home and sit on, sit on the patio, sit in my lounge chair and just relax, unwind and read the paper. So we built this pond next to his patio with a little nice waterfall. And about a week or so after I finished the pond, he called me up and he says, Chris, I got a big problem. It's like, what? He says, well, you know, I come home from work, I just want to grab my paper, sit out on the patio, you know, read my paper. He goes, now I go out there, I sit in my lounge chair, I grab my paper, he goes, I don't get past the second page, and the sound of that waterfall just puts me to sleep. He goes, I don't know what's going on in the world, I don't know what's happening anymore, I can't read through my paper, because I fall asleep because of the sound of this waterfall. Right, and I'm like, oh, okay, I thought you like had a problem, right? Um, another client of mine, we try to keep his pond running all winter. Well, 
as long as we can. I shut down all my ponds for the winter. Um, but he loves the sound of that waterfall. He doesn't want me to shut it off. So his wife complains that, you know, it's 20 degrees out at night, you know, in, in the middle of February, and he's sleeping with the windows cracked open this much so he can hear that sound from his bedroom of the waterfall. He just, you know, loves it. So, yeah, um, another gentleman um, I did a pond four years ago, big fly fisherman. His escape is to go out into the woods, you know, out, out there and, and stand in the middle of a, a stream, a river, you know, stream that's running by uh, in his waders and fish and just hear the sound of that water flowing past him. He says, that's the most relaxing thing in my life because I just love the sound of that, you know, water flowing past me. So we built <laughs> a big stream bed down his front yard. He's got a slope, uh, you know, um, a hill in his front yard. And we just built, he goes, I don't want a pond. I don't want fish. I don't want anything. All I want is the sound of that running water. And we did, you know, this big stream thing. And he goes out there every night with a you know, sit on his bench with a glass of wine. And he just listens to the water running by and he loves it. So water is the sound, um, you know, definitely, definitely um, is very relaxing. Although some will argue that the sound makes them have to go run inside and go to the bathroom. But that's another story. <laughs> um, for the most part, people are really, really relaxed and enjoy just hearing that sound of the running water. Now it's funny, sometimes I build a pond and people want like a Niagara Falls. <laughs> and some people just want nice trickling water down over the rocks. So either way, right, either way it's both soothing and relaxing no matter, you know, which way you like it, Niagara Falls or just a little trickle. Um, so that's something that, you know, you can kind of figure out and then build, you know, however you like. Um, and the fifth reason to own a pond that's enjoyable and fun is especially now for people who build their own ponds you know don't hire me they build their own pond um, the pride that they get in building this pond um, I do meet a lot of people who built their own ponds and you can just hear the enthusiasm and the joy and the pride that they have in what they created um, it, it's it's really nice to see that you know people say oh yeah I built this I used this I got these rocks I put this liner in I dug the hole I put all the dirt back here I did all this and this is and they're really proud of it you know and and that's awesome right it just gives you that more of, of a sense of enjoyment and going out there and enjoying your pond knowing the hard work that you put into this thing. So, um, yeah, you know, um, those are my five things that I wanted to tell you about and talk to you about today, and hopefully you can relate to some of them. Um, but I also want to say that over my years of, of doing all this, I've really learned that ponds can um, be a real joy to have and they can also be a real nightmare to own too. The difference is how they're built, right? Um, the filter systems, you know, and, and the, the products and, and the effort that we're putting into it. If the pond is built the right way, right, um, you know, with the right pumps, the right filters, you know, everything is, is done correctly, they can be a real joy, something definitely that, you know, you can enjoy. Now, there's always going to be maintenance on it, right, for anything. You can buy a Lamborghini, you still got to change the oil, you still got to service it, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, a pond is the same thing. It's going to require some work, but hopefully if it's built right, built properly with the right, you know, products and stuff, it should be a little bit easier. All right, um, 
Granted, it might be a little more costly, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Um, some ponds that I run into and that are not built so well, that you know have you know cheap pumps and small filters and stuff, can be a headache. There's going to be more problems. There's no doubt about it. So, you know, I always say if you're going to build the pond, build it once, build it right. If you build it poorly the first time, you're going to have issues. Um, a large part of my business um, is basically, um, you know, helping people that have had ponds built from, by somebody else. You know, a landscaper. They may be one of the best landscapers in town. They might build, you know, beautiful paver patios, their landscape design, you know, all that stuff top notch. But a pond is a little bit different. It's a specialty kind of thing. And to say, yeah, you know, I got this job. It's a, you know, $5,000 landscape job. But if I add a pond onto it, if I can sell them a pond, I can make it a ten, you know, $12,000 job. So they kind of think it's easy to do. And many times it becomes a big headache. And then the homeowners have problems. And then they call the guy back who built it. And if the guy didn't know how to build it right in the first place, chances are he's not going to be able to know how to fix things and correct things and make it better. Okay? Because otherwise he would have done it in the first place. So then they end up calling me because the, uh, the landscape guy or whoever built the pond now is not returning their calls. He's, you know, he's just doesn't want any part of it because he doesn't know what to do. So I get the phone calls. So I see that a lot, right? Where we have ponds that just aren't set up properly. They're not built right. And there's a lot of issues with them. So it can be a real, you know, pain in the neck, a real trouble, you know, problematic, you know, experience, or it can be done right and be something beautiful and enjoyable. So definitely, um, you know, consider that. But all in all, um, ponds are a great thing. Um, they're just they're just so much fun. And like I said, you know, there's a lot of enjoyment um, that you can get out of, you know, the beauty, the fish, the plants, the landscaping, the sound, you know, and the pride of, of building it and constructing things and taking care of it and working on it yourself as well. So... That's going to wrap it up here today. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, and, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out my, you know, other videos here on my channel. And um, check out my website at pondscapesandmore.com. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back again soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.